I just, you keep speaking about the other side, and you said you don't wish an end to Scientology, but, and, and meeting both sides, but I'm just really curious, what is the other side? <laughs> There's... Okay, the other side is... Okay, first of all, I don't wish the end of Scientology. I wish the end of the abusive things they do, okay? And, and let me finish. I listen to you and you ask me a question. Well, I'm just focusing. What else do they do is what I'm trying to get at. Besides, the besides breaking up families, besides medical malpractice, besides lying to people, besides kicking people out of the country, besides tricking judges. You know, I could go on forever. Besides that, besides that what? <laughs> I like the communication course. I thought that was good. They have a few little tools that I think are good. As far as the, the organization, I wish, wish an end to it. I think they are run by criminals. I hope it does get exposed and ends. I would like to know how much do they get every year in dollars? Pardon me? How, many, how much money do they rake in every year, would you say? Less and less. They used to rake in millions. I mean, Hubbard, right before he died, was getting, I think, a million dollars in cash a week. And uh, it was a lot of money. But now they have, as you can look around, you can drive around their buildings and see they're undone. And you can go on the internet and see their statistics. They used to have hundreds. Now they have like four or five people completing things. It's, it's dramatically less. But they do buy a lot of real estate. And from that, it looks like they have a lot of money. Yes? First of all, you mentioned a couple of books which I would like to highly recommend to the people here. Okay. Uh, one is A Piece of Blue Sky. Right, by John Atack. That's A Piece of Blue Sky by John Atack. It's a very good book. It's fascinating. And it it's is. Really, you'll get a lot more than she's told you today because it's really, really Well, there's only so much you can tell yeah. in a day. There's another book called uh, L. Ron Hubbard, Mad Man or Messiah. By, and I'd like to right. ask you a question, and yeah. maybe this woman to my left here as well. Um, if six or seven years ago when you were still in the church, if I had handed you that book or wanted to ask you to read it, would you have read it or would you? Absolutely you not. My best friend woke up and left and left that book on the table. And my girlfriend called me and said, Tori, he left a piece of blue sky on the table. And you know what I said? Get rid of it. And when I asked would you read that book? You know, I'm not sure what book you're referring to. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an answer. No, All right. Heard of that book. See, here's the thing. With, with that book, it does have time, place, form, and event that you don't know about. That's the true factual information about Scientology, and that's what I mean about the other side. I always believe everything I read, do you? I always used to say that when I was in groups. Do you believe everything? But if you can't read a book about your own organization, there's something wrong. Yes, sir, in the black shirt. Um, excuse me. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. You can you can finish that outside if you want. Yes. If I had to pay someone to rule my life or to have my life, I'd tell them to go to hell. So would I. <laughs> Everyone would. That's why I'm saying this conversation I'm having with you I never had with my husband or any of my friends. Because you're not questions. thinking that way. Two right more here. questions from people that haven't raised their hand. Here's one right there. Yeah. I understand that. L. Ron Hubbard claimed that he was seriously wounded in battle right. in World War II and miraculously healed himself. Right. And there is absolutely documentary no. proof that this never happened. Exactly. And yet the Church of Scientology continues to claim that this is true. Right. One of my, what's the question? Well, my question is, how in the world can anyone, including this person who claims to be in Scientology, if this is a lie and it can be blatantly proved to be a lie, how in the world can people continue to claim it's okay. true Let and continue to propagate this? Isn't that an embarrassment? And, because and Travolta or anyone not be aware because of they haven't read it. She hasn't read it. Just like now, he said, "Why don't you read that book?" She, I guarantee you, she will not read that book. Travolta had, doesn't know that information. Jerry Armstrong, who was Hubbard's personal biographer, Hubbard said, "I want you to write about my life." Here's all the basically BS, right? But here's the information backing it up. He went down in the basement and it was the complete opposite. Jerry made copies of it, left, and they are still to this day, that was like 25 years ago, they're still suing him, still trying to nail him. You know, it's like they hate him because he was the beginning person saying Hubbard's a liar. Uh, Freedom Magazine, uh, I think, are they still going? Uh, Freedom uh, is Freedom Magazine still going? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it does. 
Okay, thank you. They, they used to be real critical. Right, because Von Young used to write it, and he left the Church of, the of Scientology. Government. They used to expose uh, CIA drug running, right. Barry Seal, and, and whatnot. And then, I think, I, I heard in exchange for their tax-exempt status, that they went after groups like the Liberty Lobby and got them shut down, infiltrated, you know, you know the, the IHR, and that, that's a long story. But I'm just wondering, they, they, they don't... They're not critical anymore. Right. I know. They're Vaughn. Not, they go along with the Bush administration. Right. Absolutely. They're Republicans. Vaughn. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, Bush. <laughs> most Scientologists are Republicans. Not all, not all, but most. Yeah. And Von Young, the late Robert Von Young, is a wonderful person, and I highly recommend anybody look up his writings on the internet also, because he, he writes fabulously. He used to write for Freedom, and he was the one who wrote those great articles. Yes? One last question. All right. Comment on Paul S. Cooper, who 30 years ago wrote okay. the scandal Scientology and how the Scientologists destroyed her. Okay, quick, quick story. She's a friend of mine now. Paul S. Cooper is a little tiny person who said, I'm just going to go start doing a course and see how it is. She did the course, wrote a book on it, The Scandal of Scientology. It's a little paperback book. Scientology went after her with a vengeance, snuck into her house, in a brief, you know, copied papers with her fingerprints on them, sent them saying that this is, typed on it a bomb threat, said that this is from Paul Ive Cooper and here's her fingerprints. They were ready to put her in prison and they broke into the federal government, the, the federal government found out, broke into the guardian's office, and they all went to jail. And in that, they exposed, I think it was uh, Snow White. Was it Snow White? Is that the one for Paulette? No, no, uh, Operation Freakout. It's called Operation Freakout, and it's the whole plans to get her put in prison. <laughs> so that's your delightful church down the street. <laughs> <laughs> but enough, I didn't do the buildings. Do you want, is that okay?